all right here we are with another game here welcome welcome everybody i'm gonna go ahead and start this off with a new game today we're gonna stream uh, and play uh sea survival which is basically a medieval survival game where you're kind of building up a camp and in a section of your kingdom here and trying to like collect and gather resources as you are kind of trying to survive day by day through a siege like there's a siege that's going to happen on your you know castle your kingdom and basically you have a little party and a group that you got to get together and go out and scavenge the town while it's being raided and you know under siege and its guards and you know the enemy is out there so you got to kind of go out at night and sneak around and get your resources and save people and um, I played the uh, epilogue, the demo that has been out for a little while now. I played this, ooh, I don't know, maybe about a year ago or so. It's been out for, the demo's been out for a good while, and I played it, and I enjoyed it. And the actual, you know, the early access version is released, and it came out, uh, I think yesterday, actually, at the time of this video, um, at the time of the stream I'm doing, so it's like... I wanted, I was kind of eager to get in. I did enjoy the demo and played it, and was, you know, I wanted to see more of it and see what this game has to offer. So I do see there's also scenario editor here, which seems interesting. I want to might check that out a different time too. But hey, let's get into it and try it out. What is all this stuff? So we got quick start, explorer, scavenger, defender, survivalist. New game plus, okay, custom scenarios. Oh, cool. Survive the first week of the siege to unlock additional content. Oh, okay, so the longer you play, that's how we unlock all this stuff? Oh, we just gotta survive the first week of a siege to unlock all this. So we just basically, it kind of probably wants it just to play the story and kind of get a feel of it before we jump into the other game modes to say. Ooh, video. This must be the time of Viking games. That's uh, it is the time for Vikings. All right, let's see. We were just starting harvest when the Ismar struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded throughout Edring, and the smoke-filled city streets ran red with the blood, the blood of its citizens. The savage warriors from Karglad, Karglad had invaded our home. Cool. The town guards fought bravely, but the Izmirs were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main squire, and the city center stood in flames. We, all we could do was send a messenger out to summon aid while the outnumbered guards focused on protecting. So here we go, we got some options here. We got the fleeing citizens, workers salvaging supplies so um let's see the workers salvaging supplies or the fleeing citizens i don't know what should we do what should we do uh, salvaging supplies let's do that uh no the knowing the fate of the castle depends on food stocks the guards gave their lives to help salvage as much as possible would the extra supplies help us survive the siege? It was up to the rest of us to ensure the sacrifice would not 
he's wandered. Okay, so that seems like it's kind of like a little challenge there, or a uh, direction in... Let me do something here. Uh, in a direction of what you want to do. You can either choose to favor the citizens and help the citizens flee and possibly probably get more in the long run of aid uh, due to help or something. Or we go with the extra supplies, which what I did. So I'm going to go with that. Hopefully that will help us build up a little better. The bloodshed continued, unbattened the street by street, square after square, after square. the Ismars overran the city, murdering anyone who didn't escape in time. Then they prepared their war engines, smashing the gate, connecting the town and the castle. We thought things couldn't get any worse when we glimpsed a monstrous figure. The barracks were destroyed. Mm. Mm. So then now we get to pick a what? I'm going to go with this. The first one here. Ooh, we look at um. I mean, that dude looked cool in the video. I see you led by their famous nameless champion. Nothing I've seen in my whole life was more terrifying than the beast like figure. We all heard tales of the huge northerners, but nothing prepared us for the sight of this monstrous man walking up the streets of our city. In our hearts, we abandoned hope. We took shelter in the keep and took stock of the situation. Supplies were limited, no doubt. The Izmirs would soon attack again. The castle's the only part. The castle, the only part of Edring, still un uncaptured, was now under siege and was up to us to support our soldiers as they fight to save off the enemy and to relieve comes. So yeah, that's kind of like another objective in this. Oh, what's going on, Damon? I'm doing good, man. Um, we're playing uh, Sea Survival. Basically, a, a survival s medieval city builder type game where we got to run around and try to find supplies and save our kingdom, our castle, from coming under siege. Um, there's actually a section in the game where we'll build up a little small army on our gate and got to like provide supplies and keep them alive while they're fighting on the front lines while we're like trying to find citizens and survivors in the town too so uh, let's see let's, let's do it so see survival we're gonna try this i actually played the uh demo on this one a while back and i enjoyed it and then this one here can, you know i just entered early access i believe and it's actually it was pretty fun when i was playing the demo so I, i'm really you know excited to kind of get up in here and play the uh, play what they have uh the I guess the full version. I guess it wouldn't be full, but completed enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. Move your character by clicking the left mouse button at the desired destination. You can move and rotate camera using the WSAD and QE keys on the map. Or the mouse. Now go to the man sitting by the castle wall and talk to him. Really? Oh, it's not... What? Hold on, let me check that. Uh, how do I even do that? Nah, I don't even know how to change the title. How do you change the title? Settings here. I know. It's gonna make me do it the long way. I'm gonna go all the way in here. Um, but you know it's live. Okay. School night at home. Man, <laughs> it still is under there. Nice. I thought I ch oh I changed it and then I accidentally closed out of it and had to redo it all. Boom. 
Yeah, I thought that was, yeah, and I was using that, and I thought that's what it, you know, had the little button for it, but I didn't see it. Should be good now. Is it, is it, does it say, uh, sea survival now? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's up there. Awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, see, I was looking for the edit it, but it said I go down in the settings. I don't have that option there. So it brings up everything else. I don't know. It just like brings up things for the chat, but whatever. It's all good now. Just had to just go through there. All right, here we go. We're back in it. Boom. Let's do this. I just had to go all the way through the manager on Twitch itself and change it that way. But we should be good to go now. All right, so we have to walk to this dude. All right, let's see. Where's the camera? There's cameras. We got to talk to this guy. You. Interact. You recognize the man before you. It's Bertram, a local carpenter. You're relieved to see he survived. It's clear, however, he the events of the last day have scarred him in some terrible way. He just sits there, seemingly unaware of your presence, shivering and pressing his hand to his chest. As you check him for wounds, you notice something in his tight clenched hand. It's a small scorched doll. Oh. And suddenly realize this man has just lost his family. Ah, poor guy. There's nothing you can do for this kind of pain. Still, perhaps a warm meal might snap him out of the state of shock. Whoever, however, the kitchen was destroyed by Izmir. Trebuchet. You'll have to build a fireplace first. With all the debris around, you will surely have no difficulty finding firewood and other useful materials. Okay. Yeah, so from, gonna, from what I remember, we can pretty much gather here. But then eventually we're going to have to go out into the, the, the kingdom there, the city, and start scavenging. And there's going to be guards and warriors and stuff out there that we got to kind of sneak past. Collect a bunch of stuff. And then we'll get a, like a little party, I guess, that we can only send so many people out at a time. Keep them fed, keep them slept, and... Uh, yeah, just collected them. We got some wood there, fibers. Uh, okay, how do we take this? Use, take, hold, drag. Okay. Take all that. And then we'll build this. We'll build a storehouse. Building. All available constructions are listed on the left. If you have all the required materials, the building is marked green. Once, this, once you select a construction you want to build, you can see its properties on the right. Once you confirm your selection with the bottom below, choose the construction site to location within the castle. So here you go. So it has like kind of like a little bit of a building, like city building sub elements to it as well. Uh, any construction can be damaged by the enemy's projectile if it's placed on the exposed area marked orange in the building mode. Oh, so that's... Okay, so it can be hit and that's safe. Okay. So we're gonna have to pick and choose what we want <laughs> in the blast zone. Oh, geez. Uh, you place it on a safe blue zone, protected by the thick fashion walls, but it's a limited area, so you need to decide which building to protect. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah. Real quick, how's my mic sounding? Does it sound all right? Am I coming in pretty clear? Because I was messing some of the settings, and it seems like to be working fine. I don't know if I was like cutting in and out or anything. I'm trying to tweak with that. What are we building? Build stump with sawhorse. Awesome. So I guess we'll build that then. That's the only thing we can do. Build stump with sawhorse. Okay, so I see there. This is the safety zone, huh? Oh, yeah, because it's close to the wall. Well, we'll just build this thing out here. We got place building, rotate. Alright, so where should we put this? I guess we'll put it right here for now. Let's see how that goes. Chop some wood. Alright.
This is where you can craft new items. Once you select the scheme for the item you want to craft, you can see its properties on the right. Okay. Uh, so we're just basically doing basic crafting here. Okay, so get the ingredients needed. Gotcha. All right. Makes sense. So we're doing some planks or firewood. So we can chop it into firewood or planks. Interesting. Or we can turn the planks into firewood too. Okay. What would be better right now? This would just make some. Makes one to make three. Let's do it. Make some firewood. Materials, stone, clay, and pieces of iron, fibers, rotten food, spoiled food, but can still make animal fodder out of it, okay. eggs, you know, let's take all that, pantry, eggs, we got eggs there, build a fireplace using the storehouse, if you want to build a fireplace, that, and we'll just put it right there. Make a meal. Oh, we can upgrade it too. Oh, that's cool. We need an egg and wood. Let me make a meal. Bertram is still exactly where you left him, shivering and pressing the dictator doll to his chest. His eyes stare, absolutely pain frozen on his face. It's as though his mind just cannot escape what must have been his darkest moment. Oh, poor guy. He barely notices your presence, but you manage to make him eat. Bite after bite, you can see life coming back into him. Finally, he puts down the empty bowl and falls asleep. It's safe to guess he hasn't once shut his eyes since yesterday. Let him rest. Bertrand's recovery would be so much better if he had even a simple bed which you could build with materials lying in the streets. The gate connecting the city to the castle is damaged, but you recall there's a secret patch that is leading to the city market. You could use it and look for some supplies under the cover of night. But wait a minute, who is that man standing by the gate leading... Bastion. Bastion? Bastion? I don't know. Who is this man? Where is he? Yo! Soldier standing before you is covered in blood, his eyes dim with exhaustion, the tunic on his armor torn to shreds. Only once he speaks, you recognize Galvik, an experienced garrison member known and liked by the city citizens for his cordial attitude. Oh. He's stunned speechless by the loss of his aunt and niece, yet another blow falling on a man already exhausted, but there's no time to grieve. Ismars will attack soon, he says. We must resupply before it happens. Then he reveals that a group of soldiers is searching through the city as well, but they still haven't come back. There's, that's why he needs your help. Okay. We need arrows, he says. Quite a lot of them. Of course, it would take days to craft them from scratch, but how about the Bower's workshop in the city? That, that's your chance. Hurry, says Galvik. All our lives depend on you. He returns to the bash. Okay, so we gotta go find arrows. Perfect. Scout enemy lines. Sleep on the ground. Sleep in bed. Oh, this is like a... Uh, what are we doing here? This is a little quest. Alright, send a character outside. So now we get to go out into the city. Here you can make 
all the preparations before entering the city. The map displayed on the left shows secret paths from the castle. Only one of them is available at the moment, but you will find a way to unlock the others. You'll be able to start your night in different parts of the city. On the top right corner, you can see the backpack of the selected character. Each of them having a different number of slots available. Okay. Think about what times or what items you would need during the scavenge and move them from your common supplies to the backpack. Torches, shovels, and weapons would be your usual choice. You have one torch, it might be useful. That's a hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, then we'll take that then. Um, I guess we don't want to take up too much stuff because we're also going to need our backpack to bring stuff back. What is this? A bandage? Maybe we'll bring a bandage just in case. Medicine? Nah. Water. Clean water. I don't know. I th think we want some water. I think water allows us to stay out longer. If I remember right. As well as food. But we don't. We have an egg. I don't know. We'll just take that. Start scavenging. I think I'll be alright. We'll be fine. We'll take what we have and then we'll go ahead and start doing what we need. You entered the despoiled city below the castle. You can move faster by double clicking the left mouse button, but be warned, running is louder. This is a city under occupation. It's definitely a good idea to move carefully in my in mind new surroundings. Yeah, so we just basically have to like kind of sneak around here now. Flint. Worker. Gotta like be we do run. How do we run again? Oh yeah, we do that to run, that creates all that noise. Is there a way to like sneak? Let's kinda do that. So oop, go over here. Let's search through the piles of wreckage. Oh, I got some wood. We'll take that. Let's do get everything. Is there like damn? Oh, yeah, right here. So fit, healthy, slightly thirsty, fed. Okay. Little quest here. Boar's workshop. Needless to say, the Ismars have been here. The building has been scorched and looted. Its owner hangs from a nearby tree. A dozen arrows sticking from his body. Damn. As you gaze on the destruction, a chilling wind reminds you of why you're here to find arrows for soldiers. Only one way to find out. You prowl through the devastated workshop looking for the, the precious arrows among piles of broken parts and burnt out furniture. Time passes, but you can't find any just as you're about to give up, you spot a flash in the dark under a broken roof beam. Could it be? Yes, arrows. Woo! You try to pulling them out, but they seem stuck under the broken beam. You pull and pull until they're all yours. Suddenly, the dislodged beam collapses on top of you with all of its weight. Pain shoots through the, your whole body. Oh, great. It takes you ages to get free as you leave the workshop. You see something's changed. Bower's corpse has been taken down and an old woman le leans over the body in the shade of the tree. She's sobbing as Austin and you guess she must be his mother. She had risked her life to cut her son down and bury him in the shallow grave. The woman struggles to move him but she hurts herself with the axe under his belt. Oh. Help her but bury the corpse or take the axe and leave. Oh man, what should we do? Should we just be rude and take the weapon or should we help? <laughs> what should we do here? I think we're some just. I want to pass a take the axe and leave. I mean, a weapon's always nice. Or help or bury, bury, bury the curse, the corpse. Uh, I'm gonna take the axe and leave. That's what I'm gonna do. See what happens. The woman freezes, not leaving when she sees paralyzed by shock. She makes no attempt to stop you. Only as you leave, you hear her whisper, What kind of monster would rob the dead this way? Oh. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're at war right now. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Like, uh, so you walk away with the axe in silence. Yeah. I mean, come on. What am I, 
am I supposed to do right now? I need a weapon. The question is, can I equip that weapon? I think the axe we can supply to... Um... To the soldiers on the wall. I think that's the purpose of that. Oh no, we're at a... Um... I guess we're just gonna get that later. So, like, everything we collect... Like, that will stay, so we'll have to make, like, multiple runs. Like, so right now, I'm wounded. I'm pretty sad right now. I'm depressed. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, what's this? This is where the gate to the high city... Or, yeah, this is the gate to the high city. The wealthiest district of the city used to be... Used to be because the gate struck by the trebuchet projectile has collapsed it into rubble. No doubt there would be good pickings on the other side, but it's possible to clear the passage. Impossible. Alas, the rubble is compressed and blocked by several co collapsed ceiling beams. The way they are jammed, they could only be removed from the other side of the gate. Looks like the, the wonders of the famed high city will remain out of your reach for now. So we just gotta find a way around there. And I think there's a time. Yeah, right here. So we got until night. So once it starts getting a day, that's when we want to get out of here. Some vegetables. I can't even take any of this. I mean, I'm just going to leave now because I can't take anything. So we'll just get the hell out of here. Do you really want to return? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Because right now, I think we're kind of doing like the, We're just doing the tutorial part of it. Start of a new day, and the night was calm. This night was calm, but the enemy assault can come any day, and we must prepare for it. We should use this chance to help the soldiers at the Bastion. Bastion. Right. So, yeah, now we use the daytime to build and supply our troops, and the nighttime to go through the town and scavenge. Yeah, man. All right, interact. It seems Bertram is feeling much better. The loss of the family has had a crushing impact on him that only time can fully heal. Nonetheless, finally, the carpenter has recovered from shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. All right, man. It's about time. Make me do all this stuff by myself. I need you, I need you up and working, man. The fate of this kingdom relies in our hands. I can't have you sobbing over there. It was Flint, right? He asks. I remember you you visiting my workshop once or twice with Galvik. Thank you for your help. Now we should take care of the animals and find fresh water. Yeah, I'll do that. Bertram is right. Fresh water is paramount in the Stroke of bad luck, the castle well took a direct hit from the trebuchet. Still, maybe you clear away the debris, you might repair it somehow. You've got to try. All right, so now we have characters. We have unlocked your second character, which can switch between characters with the tab key and by selecting them directly with left mouse button or clicking their portraits in the left bottom corner. You can order them to complete different tasks, but remember, you need to take care of their needs. Each character has a different set of strengths and weaknesses which determine what your survivor excels at or not. You can see these feats in the biography window along with the character's backstory. Cool. We, we got a new character. Yay! We got Bertram. What are you good at? Fighting and building. And he's good at capacitive characters backpack plus okay so what we need to do now we need to find materials to build a bed just close send arrows how do I send arrows oh here we go
Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it and want to thank you for taking your time to watch the video. If you would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. Also, liking the video will help me know as well. I stream over at Twitch TV slash eBag01. I would love for you to come over and hang out with me. Anyways, that is that. I will talk to you all later.